Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Daily Magic. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So today's new daily quest is one of the multi-episode ones. You know, cast 40 creature spells. Like I said, that's going to take a while. So we're just going to run... I'm not sure yet. Um, let's do some pirates. <laughs> If I haven't used this deck yet, I think I have. I think I've used it once. Its whole focus, obviously, is pirates. Um, Captain Storm here is, is I consider a, a centerpiece. Any anytime an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on target pirate you control. That's very nice since a number of our stuff uh, can generate treasure tokens or map tokens like Spyglass Siren. Anything equipped with diamond pickaxe will create a treasure token. Both of these, Mag Magmatic Galleon and the Belligerent, are both considered artifacts, so they count. Belligerent creates a treasure token when it enters the battlefield. So yeah, there's a number of ways, number of ways for this to be used. Um, my favorite favorite combination is to use breaches alongside Captain Storm, because anytime, whenever a pirate you control attacks, choose one that hasn't been chosen this turn. So if you have three pirates attacking, you can pick all of them nicely. But it's, you know, create a treasure token, target creature can't block, and exile the top card of your library, you may play it this turn. That's a nice combo there. Either way, that's, you know, that's pretty much the majority of what the deck is about, so. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Alright, first match. And in that, hey, I'm not entirely sure how, ma how many matches we'll be running today. Maybe, probably three. We'll just see where we get. Okay. Not the best, not the best starting hand, but we'll make do. We'll see what we, we'll make do with it. At the moment, this is not going great for us. I guess so far we've only drawn some of our weaker creatures. Malcolm, Malcolm Alluring Scoundrel is not a bad card, but it's definitely not my preferred one to use in this deck. Hmm. 
Hmm. We might be able to turn this around, actually. We might be able to. thinking what are they what are they doing two cards in hand about what six mana to play with or, or more That's the main thing that Malcolm is used for, is to be our crew for Magmatic, um, Magmatic Galleon. That's the main reason. That's the main, its main point. Okay, they're gonna create their spirits. I should have I should have played this. No. No, that's fine. What is your whole thing? Just haste production. Okay. But it does something else, doesn't it? Uh prediction whatever kills combat damage to a player, exile the top. I'll let I'll let them have that for now, because I don't want I don't want to lose kite sail at the moment. So while I'm not happy about that, I'll let it happen. They got another might stone and okay. And they didn't get to use either of them. And we will take I do wonder what they pulled. Oh, 
always making sure that they're throwing mana at it. I will be sacrificing Spyglass Siren to block their incoming attack. Just because I don't want them to uh, exile cards this turn, especially since I haven't seen be they haven't used any of their mana yet. And they do have a, a lot of mana, and I'd rather them not potentially pull something that they don't really want. Except for this one. But you don't have seven mana. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. And they didn't pull anything all that great. Two combat couriers. Actually, or not the flyer, the one with the reach. That's what I wanted to get rid of. Oh, my bad. That, that's my bad. to block with the kite sail here because they do have enough for lethal they have enough for lethal Too bad. Because I think we were actually playing fairly well here. If we hadn't attacked that last turn, leaving us with four potential blockers, would we have won? I don't think so. I don't think so, but that's okay. Seven out of 40? Well, yeah, that <laughs> we did not get much there, did we? Um, since we're about 15 minutes, we'll do one more match. We'll do one more match. But that was a decent amount of back and forth. 
not really as strong as this deck can be, but because we didn't get we didn't get breaches or Captain Storm at all in that hand, in that game. Both of those would have been would have seen this would have been a completely different ball game if we had had those maybe, or maybe not. Who's to say? Either way, this will most likely be our last match for the episode. Um, no, that that's better. That is better, and we'll send the belligerent to the shadow realm. Okay, I guess we'll do one more match. That has happened to me before. How though? Uh, starting off a game, if I immediately go into Spyglass Siren, uh, if I get to play first, my opponent will. I've, it's happened once before, where opening like that, my opponent um, concedes. So we'll take it. We'll take the win. But yeah, we'll do. Okay, because that was such a quick match. Because that was over in an instant. We'll do one more. We'll do. One more. Zap and Brana. Hello, Zap and Brana. I hope we have a good match. This is actually not a bad opener. This is not a bad opener. I like this. And with our opponent going first... Hmm, that's not good. I say that mainly because we weren't able to start with anything. Okay, that's not as bad. Yeah, that's not as bad.
would have liked to be able to play that, but... Yes, it's four. Because of me. If I could draw another kite sail, that would be great. That's how that goes. <laughs> For whatever reason, I hadn't thought of, of using an old of, a, of using an old burn build with deepest might because I had one at one point that used flame breather, that used thermo alchemist, and stuff like that. That would be devastating. I hadn't thought about that. Might have to look back into it. Either way, I do believe that is where we are going to wrap things up. We got to thirteen out of forty, not quite halfway, but we're almost there. A little. Over a quarter, so that's not too bad, I guess. But yeah, we're going to wrap things up. If you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and consider subscribing to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.